Good evening, John. Hey, Anne. Good evening. How are you? All well? Oh, everything is great here. We had a phenomenal time off. I'm completely refreshed, ready to head your way. How are you doing out there? It's all good here. I'm ready to go home, though. Our exams are coming up for the kids and some mm. parental guidance is needed. Yeah. And some fatherly advice is apparently uh, uh, not misplaced. Yeah, no, I know. I know what it feels like. I just finished doing a ton of homework with a 14 and 10 year old. It takes a lot out of you. Oh, good, good, good job there. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyway, it's been a tough two weeks though here on the rig. It's a difficult world, is yeah, so I'm, I've been hearing. I was in the office yesterday. I was talking with the lead geologist and some of the members of the subsurface team. I got a lot of complaints, though. They uh, seem to complain about uh, not having enough data from the field. Uh, they, they, they have a list of things that they would like to get from us. So anyway, I told them I'd give them a shout uh, a day after I get back, and um, we'll see what they want. Uh, well, I think the team here is actually quite okay. The, uh, the office need seems to be a problem more than I think. They keep wanting more data and more explanations from us and we just don't always have the time to, uh, to, uh, to help them out. Yeah. Uh, we've got a job out here coming on yeah, yeah. and they seem to be just wanting to spend all their time on the phone with them. Yeah, I see, I see the frustration there as well. Tell, tell me what's happening out there. Yeah, so in the last couple of weeks, uh, when I just came on, we lost the assembly that uh, that we were drilling with um, due to hole conditions, and mm. we had to sidetrack around it. Mm -hmm. We did get to TD, though, eventually, although not without difficulties, and uh, we ran and cemented the casing in. Did you get the casing down to bottom? Uh, no, not completely. It uh, stood up uh, short, apparently. Um, we had to lay out a, a joint or two. Uh -huh. um, not really sure what uh, was going on there. It was a bit of a strange uh, phenomenon. Oh dear. Um, we're also not very sure where we are, geologically speaking. Uh oh. Um, we lost some of the data for some reason. We did see some gas readings towards the end of the section. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure the geologist actually is on the bolt completely. No. Um, I believe that we're close uh, to the pressure ramp uh, as per the original prognosis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the cement job didn't go very smoothly either. We mm. had, appeared we had some losses. Not 100% sure there either. It was a bit of a, uh, I wouldn't say a bolster, but you know what it sometimes goes with uh, the cement job. But yeah. I think it's okay though. Yeah. I was there all the time. Yeah. So um, yeah. I think the end result is that we got the cement where we really needed it. Yeah, f fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. I, I did hear quite a bit about some of your operational issues, and uh, as I said, the um, subsurface team complaining about lack of uh, uh, geology data. Yeah, so the team. Uh, the, the night uh, pusher and the night drillers, uh, they're, they're fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got, we've got good assistance over here. The only thing I'm really worried about is the experience uh, of the geologist. Oh. He's still looking for the key of the V door, right? Oh. And it's a second hitch. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, the tool pusher had to go back early, so he'd be on the same chopper tomorrow. But yeah. the um, the night supervisor stood up. Uh, and he's um, going to take over the driller, and the driller standing in for the tool pusher tomorrow for a few days. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, the only problem is his well control ticket had expired, so we had to get a, a deviation for that, but no okay. biggie. Okay. Um, well side drilling engineer is excellent too. Uh, he's um, he's uh, on the ball. Yeah, no, I see. See, well, sounds like it's going okay. Uh, what about the, what's, what's coming up uh, for the next 24 hours? Yeah, we're still moving ahead. We're running in the hole at the moment with a clean assembly. Uh, plan is to uh, clean out the shoot track and the rat hole. Then pull yeah. out a hole for uh, CBL data, so yep. uh, we can yep. also get some logging data in the case hole using using wireline. Yep. But we want to go as deep as possible. Mm -hmm. We'll try a formation leak off test when the rat hole has been cleaned out as well. Okay. Um, if need be, we can redo that after we drill the new feet, uh, new few formations after we've uh, done the logging. Mm -hmm. But we have to get back on the line for the directional work. Yeah. Um, yep. Otherwise, we're going to be in a problem over there. You have all the LWD tools on board? No, that's also why we want to do the uh, the clean out first. Uh, the LWD tools are still on the boat. Oh uh, logistics is, uh, yeah, well, what can I say? Uh, the usual. Yeah, um, yeah. It's a bit of um, uh, frustration, really. Uh, they don't really seem to understand that we need these too quickly and they just keep hanging out. No, oh, I see. Yeah, something I put on my list to chase uh, once I get out there. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, no, it's clear. Thanks for uh, yeah giving me a heads up on what's coming up. Sounds like you have uh, things under control there. Yeah, like as I said, I was in the office the other day, and I, to, between you and I, I think the subsurface team is under a lot of pressure, and they're completely frustrated because, of course, they have to explain to management what's going on. The geologists, of course, are lost because they don't have a lot of data, and the cuttings look odd. Mm. Uh, the the whole instability, of course, doesn't help with geological control. We are actually very surprised um, about the amount of whole instability we have in this well. The last well was very similar and we saw no issues. Is the mud in good shape? Yes, uh, I believe so. Um, it's all based mud, so yeah. uh, the emulsion is stable and everything. Although we did order 15.4 ppg mud yeah, and, we, yeah. and we received 16.0. Oh. So, not really sure what's uh, gone there, so we uh, we watered it back. Well, you know, cut it back. Uh, yeah, so we cut okay. it back. Um, the mud weight is critical for the whole stability uh, and and for the pressures in the next section. But there is plenty of mud on board. But uh, yeah. I would really keep a close eye on it and for uh, for the weight and uh, and and the. And the stability. Uh, absolutely, I'll set up some time with the mud engineer as soon as I get on board. Yeah, it's really important. Yeah. So, uh, what else is going on? Well, we have the audit action list that's still outstanding. Mm -hmm. Right, there's uh, action items to uh, run through. Uh, Wellside drilling engineer is actually doing a great job of uh, of tracking all of it. Um, yeah. But uh, we need to hit the nails with the hammer to close it out. It's yep. been dragging a little bit. Okay. And also, um, we have a high level visitor. Uh, uh, visitors lined up for your shift uh, oh, because okay. of the five years LTI fee uh, that's coming up. Don't really want to jinx anything, but uh, they will, will come out, uh, I think, in about uh, a, a week's time or okay, so. Okay, okay, we'll have to look at that, yeah. Okay, well, thanks, John. It looks like the uh, way ahead is clear and, and you've lined up everything. All right, uh, I hear the drill floor is calling for my attention. I better get off the phone. I'll see you in a heli lunch tomorrow and uh, have a good flight out. Hey, <laughs> thanks, John. Take it easy on your last night. I don't want you home completely knackered. You've got all that uh, coaching to do with your kids. Yeah, I will. Thanks. I'll, I'll make sure I rest well before I set off. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> see you. Bye. Nothing beats a coffee just after breakfast. Hey Peter, was it a good night? Yes, you know, same, same. We've tripped into the well we're drilling out assembly. I think we're just taking some weight now. So we're drilling out the cement in the shoe track. Good occasion's finally in place. It's been a frustrating couple of weeks. Indeed, the string stood up about a stand earlier than expected when running in hole. Must have been some cement behind the plug, I'm thinking. Did we pump any cement after dropping the final plug? Yeah, we usually do. Makes it easier to drill the plugs uh, when there's cement behind. You know, last time in the last well, we were spinning on the plug for like an hour or two. It was a waste of time, so frustrating. Also, there is usually some cement volume in the lines that I, I think you need to count for it. Uh, that makes sense then. Understood you saw some major hole problems and did not get the case into TD as well. It means a long rat hole below. So it will be quite interesting to see how the hole behaves. I've seen that go wrong before. Where was that? I've got a feeling we've met before. Spent years on the sister rig of this one, so maybe that's where. My name is Kosi. I have worked around here for years. In fact, I'm just standing in here for someone on this hitch. I arrived yesterday. Ah, that explains it. I've worked in this area for years as well. i got a question for you guys. I was a little surprised to see the amount of recalibration done to my inline mod with sensors over the last weeks. I'm still looking into it, but can't quite make sense of it yet. Yeah, I know. They were asking me to check the mud weights continuously. Then it went a bit quiet. I guess they must have used the data to calibrate. They, they never actually said. I obviously put out the mud weights in the tannoy every 30 minutes when we're drilling, so they verify against that. Thanks. Must be all right then. Just thought I'd ask. I read the mud weights are critical in the next whole section. So it's best we be sure. Of course, Mo is always important. That's why they have profession like me here, eh? Indeed, Maria. Everybody says so.
Morning. Listen, I know you're heading off, but I need to let you know that the uh, string set up a little earlier than we thought when running in hole. All good, we took it nice and easy, but looks like there's cement behind the plugs on this one. Started drilling it out and progress is good. It's not look particularly hard. Well, we pumped a couple of barrels of cement behind the plugs and there will be some stuff in the lines as well. No issue, I think, seen this before. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Just uh, continue on? Yes, keep drilling and clean out the rat hole. Please keep a close watch and whatever you do, do not start drilling new formation until the geologists know where we are. Sure boss, I'm on it. No worries. Have a good day off. Thanks for your diligence, and Ron and stay safe. Welcome in, good to see you. Nice to be back. Time was short though, as usual. Just heard from the OAM that our port crane is broken down, just to give you the bad news. Not sure what happened, but it has a suspended load hanging over the side and they are apparently unable to operate it. Hate to leave stuff like this for you straight off the chopper, but probably worth checking with the OAM. I was literally just told. New pu tool pusher will also want to know straight away. We have urgent logistic requirements. Indeed, I saw the crane during landing. The last trip we had a crane specialist out, so I thought it was all fixed, but apparently not. We'll discuss with the guys. Usually they figure out these mechanical issues quickly. Indeed, my thought exactly. Speed is of essence. I ask our logistics folks to check on the flights today in case we need a crane specialist out here. OEM knows about it. Anything else? Not really. We're drilling cement in the shoot track. Stood up a little earlier than expected, but believe all logical from the cement job we did. Right? Rig is on uh, high alert not to drill any new uh, formation until we have data from the logs. Obviously, we're also worried about the red hole. You better go, uh, the flight is departing. Indeed, and thanks. Have a good trip and see you in two weeks. Hey Cozy, this is Ron. It's just in the middle of the connection. Oh, that's okay Ron. Thanks for calling back. I wanted to ask, have you noticed anything strange with the active volumes? Yeah, sure. The volumes are all over the place and the rig system shows different information to your screen as well. Should we not stop? I'm not comfortable with this. Eh, uh, no need Cozy. You probably did not notice that we have a crane broken down hanging over the side with a heavy load. The rig is listing towards the port as a result. They decided not to adjust ballasting as they hope to have it fixed soon. That messes up your sensors temporarily, but we'll be fine when the crane's fixed. We're still drilling out the shoe track and case hole as well. All fine. They checked with me. Ah, had not heard that. Makes sense. I'll wait and verify the two systems against each other when the crane is back on the line. All good, Cozy. All good. Did your handover mention the questions over mud weights from the last section? Yes, I was confused with it, frankly, but understood from the mode engineer it was okay. Yeah, we were all confused, but we agreed on a procedure that the derrick man will call out the mud weight every 30 minutes, and this is the number we calibrate to. The mud engineer has verified. Not sure where the confusion came from, but has worked well since. Heard the drilling assembly for the reservoir section will have uh, pressure while drilling sensors, so we'll get, to, we'll get downhole verification as well. Technology nowadays. Yeah, indeed. I'll be out of a job soon. Ah, uh, never. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome back. How was your time off? All good. Too short. Uh, same, same. Those long flights are killing me though. 16 hours travel each way. I heard there was an issue with the crane. Yes, broken down. We're working on repairs. I believe we can fix it ourselves, but understood you're checking helicopter seats for potential service personnel this afternoon? We'll let you know in the next hour. So far, phone contact has all worked well. The crane is stuck over the side with the load suspended. Means we're listing a little bit to port. But thought it didn't make sense to change the ballast. Will likely be fixed very quickly. The drill floor is aware and okay with it. Said something about drilling cement in the shoe track, so no risk of well control. Correct. Uh, I'm glad you thought about that. 
important that we don't drill too far ahead of the logs. Clearly, we have no issues with the inside the cement. Good. Maybe I better swing up to the brick floor and make sure all are aligned. Just finish coffee and quickly read handover first. Would appreciate that. Could you let me know if you see any issues? I need to verify logistics and login requirements as first priority. Understand the LWD tools for the reservoir section are not yet on board, but also that we have to offload them with the starboard crane if need be. LWD crew arrived this afternoon and we should be running logs in the next 12 to 16 hours. So then we will figure out where we are geologically as well. They're a bit lost. <laughs> Nothing new there then. Well, rather say it's not an exact science. And the whole problems in the last section meant that they got precious little data. Very limited but mixed up cuttings because of the losses and washouts. No E-line, no LWD data. We wouldn't like to work without data either. You are right, I'm just tongues in cheek. We have our issues too. Good, see you over lunch uh, when you're settled. Uh, in the meantime, we proceed as current plan. Sure, Paul, see you at lunch. Yeah, I'll join you too. How was your time off? All good, all good. Hey Ron, are we still uh, drilling the shoe track? Yeah, it was strange. You know, we stood up around 100 feet shallow, so either we pump more cement behind the plugs than I thought, or some cement past the plug. We should now be about 30 feet away from the shoe, but I just took a small drilling break, so I'm not sure about the cement in the shoe track. The program has me cleaning out the rat hole to TD, so we can get it a formation integrity test before pulling out for the logs. Everyone is aware we will not drill any new formation. Yeah, the mud logger told me we had some problems with the mud system in the last two weeks. Yeah, also strange. Uh, the mud weight we got from shore was far too high, so we had to cut it back. Also, that the crane failure hanging over the side means my volume control is not great. The rig is listing, so the rig and mud logging sensors do not correlate 100%. However, we are okay as long as they stay inside the casing. I was going to stop and do a well control drill at the shoe and do a flow check before I clean out the rat hole and do the integrity test. Thinking. Um... You know, Ron, I, th I think we should stop right now and do that flow check. There seem to be too many weak signals at this point. I need to be sure... Uh... Okay, uh, I'm with you. I'll do so right away. Looks like we have a small increase in, uh, in return mod flow, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Shut in the well, Ron. Something's wrong. Done.